Okay, hello everyone. I'm David Ko. I uh, work for SUSE. So today I want to talk about long home. So let's get to the slide. So what's a long home? Long home is a highly uh, available uh, software defined solution, storage solution for Kubernetes. It's a very lightweight and reliable and easy to use. Of course, we consider a different scenario like DevOps considered to the long home use case as well. And also, it's a persistent storage solution for long for Harvest, uh, for for Kubernetes. So it based on the uh, microservice architecture and make sure I can run well together with the uh, uh, Kubernetes. And for sure, it's the disk agnostic to make sure we can run on top of file system on host. And we also support not support the in cluster uh, capability. We also support out of cluster capability. So we support the backup restore for long haul, including the different type of interface, NFS and S3 interface. Of course, long haul built for Kubernetes and built on Kubernetes. So it's a neutral uh, storage solution based, based on Kubernetes and for Kubernetes. And that one is an open source alternative to a CSL project. Right now it's an incubating project. But let's talk about long haul future innovation. Uh, we based on a few uh, pillars to come out the ideas to extend the long haul to the next phase. The first one is a volume capability. So you will include in the, like a multiple data engine we want to introduce in the one file. Uh, it's based on SBK. We will make it as an experimental feature to let user can try. And second one is a local volume pass through. We have some idea to want to make our local volume introduce in one fold and make it better in one six with a pass through functionality. And volume type, for sure. Right now, Lohong support a bot device fire system. And we want to do further to cover the share interface like object storage interface. That will be happen to make it experimental in 1.6. And next one, volume data service. We want to do something around the volume data. So user-driven automation is the first priority thing we want to do. So we have a different type of recurring job to tackle the different scenario we want to, uh, user want to handle. For example, like a snapshot deletion or cleanup, and all the things will happen in one file, and also we will back out to the previous patch release. And the third one, Kubernetes awareness. Uh, Kubernetes, how to work together with the Kubernetes is a one topic and major topic, low long home. So we take care about the impress upgrade to make sure we can be aware of a known uh, drain capability and also have a different policy when user doing the drain, especially for Kubernetes upgrade. And this one will happen in one file. We also backpole this important contribution back to the one fold. And next one, in cluster resilience, to make sure the long haul will be like a resilient solution uh, for the storage level because storage is always a sensitive component for the infra. So we come out with like unreliable network resi resilience uh, functionality to make sure user can tune replica and backing image sync server timeout to make sure we can resilient handle when there are something wrong for replicas. And again, this one will be show up in the one that file. And next, out of cluster disaster recovery. As I say, Lohan not just care about the in-cluster operation, we also care about the out of cluster operation. So we think about the out of cluster is most for the Lohan volume backup and restore. So backup store, we want to extend more interface for user. Right now it's S3 interface and NFS. And in one file, we will come out with a CIFS and as you brought though, because we heard a lot of feedback from the user, they want to extend their usage on the public cloud. And this one, multiple uh, backup store, we want to make user have a capability to do the backup uh, storage tiering to back out different type of volume to different type of uh, backup store. So backup storage tiering will be happen in uh, one six we plan to do. And next one, Agile uh, deployment anywhere. The goal for long haul, we want to make a long haul run anywhere. So that means on the cloud, on premium or private cloud, etc. So we want to achieve this one. And what we have done for age, we have a support a sleep micro uh, to make sure it happen 
for one file, even backport to a one, four, and one, three. So right now you can use a C micro uh, without any issue with a long home. And next one, uh, constraint resource. Because long home want to run on a different envi environment, including age. So resource consumption is very important for us. So we want to do something for that. Uh, the primary component for long home is an instance manager. We want to consolidate the instance manager for long home engine and volume to make sure we use the less resource uh, for, the pro uh, for the volume management. And that's one, public cloud. Public, public cloud is the best, place, best practice to let a user to better uh, manage their cost usage for their cluster. So we want to let long home respect the cluster auto scaler. So this one already be uh, one that is an experimental feature, but we want to make it a GA in one, one, one five. So it will happen soon. So this volume capability, data service, Kubernetes awareness in cluster resilience, out of cluster disaster recovery and Asia deployment anywhere is a, our major innovation pillars for the long home feature. The next one, I want to let a quick share about uh, what we have done so far for OneFi, the next generation data plan based on SBK. You can see the performance comparison between the two versions, OneFi and in the future OneFi. You will see a lot of improvements uh, from the uh, IOPS latency and throughput. So this is the thing we want to make the database better because User care about the uh, long haul, how to take out a better performance I.O. So this is the answer uh, uh, give from the long haul to the users. So I think that's it. Uh, this is what I want to share about long haul feature and current status. Thank you.